All right, I'm ready to get started. Hello! Welcome to Friday. You'll notice that I pretty much never stream on Fridays, but my work schedule got all changed around and I'm still really obsessed with this game. So guess what we're doing? We're back on the Sunless Sea. Of course. Why would I do literally anything else with my time? Really though. All right, where we last left off. Let's go, let's do it. I'm so excited. We last left off, oh, that's right. We left, um, shoot, what is the name of that place? The place where hell meets the sunless sea. There was cheap fuel there. We left because it makes me very an anxious to be there. There's a lot of really dangerous pirates in that area. Do not want, not a fan. We're still looking for the salt lions. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're still looking for the salt lions. Uh, let's get started. But I did pull us up to the, I really wish I knew how to say this word, Kumeyan Canal, because I felt deeply insecure being close to hell. We need to go back to London. I forget why. Supplies, it looks like. But that's what we're doing. That's the plan. Figure out where the heck the salt lions are. Where are we on that game? So it could... There is this gap up here that I haven't looked at. And that might be where we go next. Although I will... Let's get this area. Anybody who has followed me for any amount of time knows that I am absolutely one of those very annoying completionists. I don't need to collect every trinket. I do need to explore all of the areas. So we're definitely going to be making random swings out into the chart just because there's a little speck of undiscovered that I've got to look at. Absolutely necessary. Vital for my well-being. There's a real chance that this stream will be shorter than previous ones with the Sunless Sea. I have had a very long day. I don't usually stream this many days in a row, but I couldn't leave it alone. I know me, I know my life. My life is chaotic and passionate and obsessive and a little bit neurotic. I don't know that I would say I like it that way, but it's definitely how I operate. I am going to make some vague attempt to actually stay in the light this time. had a vague recollection of, you know, a good way to not gather so much terror is to stay close to shorelines and in the lighted buoy areas. And I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. It's a pity that I literally never think about that or do that. Probably because it makes me more visible to crabs. I think we can outrun him. I think if we stay straight, we can outrun him. Those guys don't have very many, I wanna call them movement tiles. It's not quite D&D, but it's very close to D&D. All right. Back up to get supplies. Gotta go get food so that I can once again wander aimlessly in my attempt to find my favorite get rich quick scream. Hello! Ah, oh, there is no vowels in your name. Ringworlden? Nope, I don't... You're gonna have to help me there. But hello, welcome! We're playing Sunless Sea. This is my first playthrough of Sunless Sea. This is my second captain. I got my first captain murdered by Living Rock. And if the Living Rock didn't kill her, going absolutely batshit and drowning all of her sailors was going to do it. Oh, good! I got Ringworld, and that's that's about as far as I went. Attempts were made. All right, back in London. Reducing some terror. I will try all of the names. I don't promise success. I was trying to describe this game to other people, and the best I've got was, hey, you know, 
it's kind of a bit of a Lovecraftian ocean adventure, and you walk away from it saying, choices were made, always in the passive voice, choices were made, attempts were made, most of it ended really poorly. Let's get messages from the harbor master. I don't think anything exciting is actually going to be happening on this trip to London. I think I did most of the things that I needed to do. Oh, we also need to go to, um, Wither for the Admiral to get the intelligence. Correct. I definitely know what I'm about. I have no idea what I'm about. Rose Market. You know, I've heard that Fall in London was really good. I haven't tried Fall in London. I heard it was great. And I hear people really like Sunless Skies, but it's a lot easier than Sunless Seas. I'm not saying that I'm a masochist, but for whatever reason, I don't get the same levels of frustrated or rage quitty as other people. So I really like it. Don't need to do dry dock things. We need to go to shops. That's why we're here. I remember our purpose. Our purpose is to buy food. I kind of low-key live in horror of running out of food in this game. Like, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be like, and now you have to eat the fungus. Now you have to eat the cat. I do have Submariner. I'm really excited to try it out, but we're not there yet. Like, it's got a whole bunch of prerequisites that I have not done. Kind of the short version there. It has stuff I haven't gotten to yet. I wanted to do Submariner with my first captain, and then I got her murdered by a living rock. Mount Armageddon, I think that thing is called. I made very poor choices, is really what happened. Will I take responsibility for those choices? Probably not. Oh, but I do have a high nightmare score, so we are gonna rest in the lodgings. Get our restful night. Mount Nomad, that's what it is. Mount Nomad ripped apart the hull. I was trying to avoid Mount Nomad, but Mount Nomad was not having it. I'm not accustomed to living mountains, tearing at ships. But in the midst of all of that, our last captain was hallucinating a giant tentacle coming out of the ocean and grabbing sailors off the deck. So we had a 100 terror score. So probably she was actually just pushing people off the deck and we were going to run out of sailors. No matter what had happened, she was going to die. I did not prepare well enough before I made that journey, is really what went down. Speaking of, where? So I have been told to strongly consider upgrading our engines. That if we try to go any higher than this particular tier, the fuel cost is not going to be worth it. I don't know. No, I'm not okay with it sometimes going up on land. I didn't even like it being in the ocean. I'm not accustomed to living rocks yet. I have not built a character hardy enough to go shooting at the things. I think living icebergs is what the ones up north are called. We have not done that. That is not a thing we've accomplished. Well, I do want to go faster. Yeah, I'm going to make this choice. Reason being, one of the hard lessons I've learned is that it's better to spend the money than it is to not spend the money and die. Profound life lessons. So we'll sell my elderly engine. And we're much poorer than when we started, but it should help. It should help us outrun the pirates that I keep trying to outrun. The word there, of course, being trying. Uh, this captain's a natural philosopher. We're looking for her father's bones. We have a clue. I'm trying to remember where the clue wants me to go. We spoke to the widow. She wants me to do... What the heck? Terror. I am okay with suggestions. I will probably tell you if I'm not okay with suggestions. I guess the only thing that I don't especially want is don't tell me what's going to happen story-wise. If you have suggestions for how to kitch out a ship, cool. I'm here for those. 
Do not tell me, for example, that the people on Mutton Island are all cannibals and are going to run you out of town, or rather, you're going to go investigate because you're a fool, and then you have to make a choice of becoming a cannibal or fleeing. Don't tell me those things, but I am absolutely here for, buy a better engine. Your guns suck and you don't know what you're doing. You need to resupply before you leave London and make a trip across the map so that you don't get killed by Mount Nomad again. We're here for those things. I hope that made sense. I'm still learning. I haven't been on Twitch very long. Here's this. Where is the damn thing that I was looking for? I can't figure out. Oh. Yeah, I'll find it again. It's in here somewhere. All right, we're going. Currently, I'm looking to find the salt line so that I can make some easy money so that I can maybe get a townhouse, but definitely so I can eventually get a better ship. Ah, would you recommend upgrading the lodgings first or the ship stuff first? Oh, this is a much faster engine. <laughs> I'm actually really happy that I made the choice to get a better engine. Upgrading the lodgings was a bit on the list simply because the last captain I played, we had a sweetheart on shore because I was like, ah, this is going to be an excellent way to decrease my terror when I'm in London. And I was right about that, but also that gave me a kid. My captains all make these really irresponsible choices. You would think that people wouldn't have a child with my captain, and yet here we are. And I'm pretty sure that's going to happen again, so having a townhouse was on the list of things to do. You're still not receiving visitors, huh? Well, fine. Can't even reconnoiter. Alright. Fine. I didn't get to write a will last time. I was grateful to have the money, but we did not get a will. Now where am I going? Up here was where we wanted to explore. Probably having the will is going to be better for general passing of things on to a captain. Of course, the snide brat that lives in my head is like, maybe I just don't die. Maybe the way to play this game is to just not get your captains killed. As though I were any good at that. Alright. So I think that... Given that I've explored all the rest of this and haven't found the stupid salt lions, I think it's going to be somewhere between these two ports. Mm. I do suppose that that makes sense. Nobody writes will for f wills for future generations, or I guess if you did, it would just end poorly. I've been over there. But that probably does allow for better inheritance. As you might expect with a first captain, I really just got half of her money. So I'm, I'm aware that the salt lions are usually pretty close to fallen London. They're usually one or two over, possibly north one or south one. So I'm thinking, given that I've done all the rest of it, I'm thinking it's up here. Possibly could be down, but there's more of this unexplored. I have maybe consulted off camera. Oh, ha, 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 I kind of maybe know what I'm doing. Sometimes, not really. Here we go, hooray. Last time I was only able to do this run twice before they were like, go to Areem, and I said, cool, that sounds like a great plan. And then it wasn't. The salt lions were here. Did I make enough room in my hold? I did, just barely. Cool. First order of business. I try to do the salt rites when I'm here, just because that extraordinary implication is good to pick up. Dive from the Sphinx's face down a clear arc into your into the Z's 
chilly darkness. Float there in the quiet until your lungs are bursting, until light blooms behind your eyes, rise gasping to the prickle of false stars, the shocked faces of your crew. You've brought something with you. I like that it's left vague, the thing that you brought with you. It's just an extraordinary implication. We're not going to tell you what that is. Just that it was extraordinary, and it implies something. Let's get the port report. All right, I want to carry Sphinxstone to London. I have one echo left because I paid that deposit. If the stones weep, an unmaker advises you, ignore them. Unless they flood your hold, of course, then you should probably drop them overboard. Don't tell anyone I said that. Excellent. Plenty of supplies to get back, so we're not going to worry about it too much. All good. Let's go. Uh, the boat is so much faster. I have also been told, stop picking fights with wildlife. Basically never worth it. Has that actually stopped me from picking fights with wildlife? It's probably more correct to say that the wildlife picks a fight with me. I do try to outrun it though, so the faster engine helps. I'm trying to get braver about dealing with pirates. I don't know, I didn't pick up an exploration game to die fighting pirates. I picked up exploration games to die fighting a mountain. I know my business. I think it's just more directly south than this. Yeah, I can take you. Nope. 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 No, I want to get into a dogfight with you. My fault. Come on. There we go. That's what I wanted. There we are. I fight pirates now. It's very exciting. By which I mean I definitely freak out the entire time. Loot and scuttle. Lean pickings. I didn't sail far from the hidden harbors. Alright. A stout crate. Oh, got some fuel. I'll take fuel. Alright. God, it's so much faster. <laughs> How did I ever survive? Oh, I guess I should advance the storyline of Hunter's Keep. We haven't been away from London so very long that I expect the London stuff to advance any. sisters. I have played through this particular story to the sisters burning their house down. Well, one of them doing it. So now I just stop here when I want some supplies and also to reduce my terror a little bit. Nope. Otherwise, I think that it's... Just your standard newbie playthrough. I do read everything, and I do separate voices for the characters when I remember to. What I find funny is that I can never seem to remember what voices I've picked for my characters, so they change a whole bunch. Alright. I think you're just a person, aren't you? Yeah. You're just a person, doing person things. We don't murder all of the ships we see. We just bully the smaller pirate ships that I think that we can get away with. That's all. All right. London, deliver the Sphinx Stone. Here's some payment. 
Reach. Don't need to go to the rose market. I should probably consider reducing terror. It's pretty high terror. Marvelous night out. Met my sweetheart. Should also probably take a nap. For the first captain, I think at the end of it I had nine strength nightmares, ten? I wildly neglected lowering my terror, which was not helpful, it turns out. Turns out you can't really do that and expect it to go well. All right. We are going to do the very exciting task of just delivering Sphinx Stone repeatedly a few times. I didn't promise that this was going to be an exciting night. I only said that I was here. <sighs> I do have to say, in its own weird way, this game is very soothing. Maybe it's just because I like the creepy orchestral music, or... I just like the exploration aspect of it all. Hard to say what I'm doing here. I just know that I like it. It's just a person. I know that because it's blue. And if it fires at me, I'll be awfully mad. Oh, that's a pirate ship. Rude. How dare you fire at me? As though I weren't also making that choice. Ah, yes. Burning blue. A hiss of horror from the lookout. The glim lamp at the front of the ship is sputtering and arcing, fizzing with blue light. Even as you watch, the blue fades, but it's not a good omen. All right, it's 62, I can, oh, you know what? We have the Z story. We didn't have that the first time. Well, now we're just gonna spin them as story because that'll always succeed. Lost five terror. Oh, but we've lost the Z story. Mmm, bummer. Eyes wide, rubies the size of grapes and grapes the size of apples. Of course, the island's only visible in blue light and then only for an instant. But if we find it, my hearts, if we find it. Loot and scuttle, mean pickings, crate, supplies, and fuel. Excellent. Unfortunately, now that the salt lines are in a new location, I never seem to actually remember the, the course I have to take to get this. Which is admittedly not my favorite. I'm awfully surprised that in this game the crew doesn't fish. You would think that if you ran out of supplies, I need to turn off the light, we're burning through fuel. You'd think that if we ran out of supplies, we would just fish. And yet that never seems to be an option. Instead, we just always resort to cannibalism. Or eating the mascot. I'm just saying we don't always have to approach at the solution to every problem in the grimmest, darkest way. If that were the approach, we could just play Darkest Dungeon. There's a few more of those really horrific survival choice games. Can't quite remember. I think it's actually called, just called, Don't Go Hungry. That's probably true. We have to consider that in the Z, what you fish for is probably horrible. 
Like, it's probably going to be some sort of ancient evil that will, in fact, eat you. I didn't visit the Unmakers when we were here. Muscular pick wheel pick wielders rest on camp stools, watching you approach, passing hip flasks around. An unctuous overseer beckons you to sit. Probably could. Oh, well, we've lost some terror. I like that. Fungal Tasani and tea cakes. We get funding from the bazaar, it's true, but Station 4? I wouldn't call it Station 4. It's a little grandiose. The stones are stuffed with secrets, but most of them are used as garden statuary or occult ballast. Most of them. Some go down to the places under the bazaar. More tea cakes? Excellent. I will take the Sphinx Stone. We will go back. And get... I have seen some of the lines. I guess I didn't bother to ever see them in the light because I don't usually travel with light. Which, you know, has proven to be an absolutely horrible idea. Maybe we don't do that. I know it's one of the mysteries of the game, but I desperately want to know who put the lions here and why. It's sort of my understanding that this place wasn't... Well, I guess that's not true. The lore of this game is really, really fascinating stuff, but I obviously haven't had a chance to get into tons of it. So every so often it sounds like people just kind of get stuck in this cavern, like the Khanate has been around for a while, but London only recently fell here. Ah, maybe a bit of a throwback. Because this, this, this method of getting money when you're just starting out is apparently incredibly common. Absolutely, I went to the Google and said, I get the feeling I'm supposed to be making more money than I'm actually making. What am I missing here? And every response was, have you found the salt lions? The spring of 1862. See, it just said, as far as I know, it just said the end of Queen Victoria's reign, which is a very long period in history. And we have spoken to the cheery man who remembers the fall, like we got him to talk about it a little bit. Sounds horrific. Sounds bad. I would like to know why people have trouble dying in the Z. Like the concept of the tomb colonies, while interesting, and I like it a whole bunch also baffles me. Some part of me is just low-key. Are we already vampires? Is this just a society of vampires? Just some seafaring vampires? The warning at the Kumeyan Canal suggested that our people were not gonna do very well in sunlight. If I remember correctly, Queen Victoria's reign ended in 19... in the 1910s. I couldn't tell you when in there, but it was a long time in history. Like, it was a long period. Let's get our messages. London. Deliver. Sign, sign, sign. Here's a receipt. Here's a discretion contract. Here's a penalty contract. Your vision is blurred by the end of it all. The cart rumbles off to the coiling fog, and here is your reward. Excellent. We're not gonna hire more crew. I do need to buy more fuel. I did burn through a lot of fuel. That's actually a pretty decent ratio. Don't need any of those things. Don't need any of those things. The fifth city. Well, I imagine the Khanate is one of them. What else has been here a while? Um, gosh, I keep wanting to call it the Iron City and I know that's not right. That's been here a time. 
I don't know, I haven't honestly explored enough of the map. I didn't get very far. Like, I especially didn't go to the eastern and the southern areas of the map. I'm gesturing as though you could see it. Hold on, let me, let me do my London things, and then I'll get on with it. The Iron Republic, yes. That seems to be a place that's existed for a while. I don't need to hire on... I am. We'll leave it. We'll leave that for now. My terror's not so bad. Yeah, let's go. Let's go back. Last time I was only able to do the two deliveries. Before we had, were approached by various interested parties. I haven't yet figured out what Project Dawn is. I don't care to know just yet. I'm sure that I'll get there. It's one of those things that's going to bother me. Having strange people approach me going, Ah yes, you're Sphinx Stone. We would like you to deliver it here. No, we would like you to deliver it here. Neither of us are going to tell you why. It's going to be very off-putting. Solid. Probably... I am absolutely blowing that thing that I said where I would stay closer to light sources. <laughs> Oops. It's just a little bit of terror. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure nothing terrible will happen. I'm sure we won't get a hundred terror and start pushing crewmates over the side. Again. I'm sure it won't. This captain has actually found far more locations, but this time the locations seem to be closer to fallen London. Like, it's almost completely by chance. Except for, of course, the frickin' salt lions. This is, I think, hour four of me trying to find the salt lions that I actually did. When I, when I saw the map is going to change a little bit each time, I said, okay, a little bit's fine. I didn't realize quite how drastic that meant. Because yes, it is relatively close to fall in London, and yes, it is in the center of the map. It's still very far from where it was the first time. We have time to visit the Unmaker, so we will. We lose terror for doing that. Alright. Here's hoping that we can just deliver it in peace. We are nearly never that lucky, but you know, I'm a horrible optimist. So we did get to that part where I was asked where they were like, ah, the the usual people are not here to pick it up. And I was approached by the woman for Project Dawn who wanted it to go to Geode, but I turned her down because she was just weirding me out a little bit. I'm not quite one of those people who doesn't trust other people who smile too much. It was more that the idea that we should be bringing light to this area when everybody and every place and everything has been adapted to not have light, it sounded bad. It sounded like an ecological nightmare. So I went with the other guy who said, take it to Arim. And I said, cool, that sounds great. And then I left London with 50 terror. I had enough fuel and enough supplies, like that was the good news. And I fixed the ship, but I just, but I also didn't upgrade anything. At that point, I didn't have a fancy engine or fancy guns. And I said, I'll just go across the map and this will be fine and nothing terrible will happen. And I was wrong why I bought the gun and the engines now. It's also why I keep carousing in the docks, which just sounds like a horrible idea that's gonna get me killed at some point. Maybe not that one. But many poor decisions are made. What 
was really dire there for a while was that I just couldn't afford anything. Couldn't afford enough supplies to do any proper seafaring. Couldn't afford fuel to go very far. Like, eventually I got lucky enough to find a few valuable things to sell. But it was a hurdle. Like, the learning curve for this game is pretty steep. When I stop at ports, yes, I gather port reports. What I'm not as good at is daisy chaining. Like I haven't been going to all of the ports as I as I pass by them. Collect our messages. Deliver the Sphinx Stone. Oh good, we were able to deliver it again. Hooray! All right, this time. We'll buy a few more supplies because I actually do need to go up to Wither. Oops. I need to get strategic information from Wither so that I could have my two pieces of strategic information to make vital information to go do that. And then we'll stop by this this serpent the salt lions again. I haven't been up north very much. We made it to Venderbite for the obvious thing that everybody goes to Venderbite for with the tomb colonists for that first mission. But we haven't made it to all the rest of this up here. Yet. Last time I did make it out to Wither and um Is Echo? The name of that other place, the island over there, where you get exiled if you don't answer the if you don't answer questions with questions. Codex, that's what it costs. That is true. I have been lagging on the recruitment of officers. To be fair, I have also been waiting for particular officers. My buddy, who I consult with, said, Get the magician! And I said, Cool, seems like a great idea. I have no reason to believe that that will be bad. So I've been waiting to find the magician. And also the, um... Presbyterate Adventuress? I hear her storyline is good. I do want to drop off this physician before I pick up other physicians. But the Shellinate, which is where he wants to go, is, I think, on the edge of the map. So it'll take me a minute. But I'm aware that there are better physicians than Guy that you start with. But otherwise, the only officer that I've bothered with is the Blemigan. And, you know, to say that I recruited the Blemigan is maybe an exaggeration of the events. <laughs> maybe I just saw a cute fungus and I said, that looks like a friend. And I decided to put him on my boat. We're here. We're here in Vendor Bite. That's right, you guys wanted something. So I didn't know that you could have more than one officer. Do they just kind of like hang out in your inventory? And if you take them to the place, will they still know to respond? A very classy and respectable friend with his mustache, right? With his pendon mustache. Chase your Blemigan from the engine room. We haven't seen this one yet. Gusts of laughter sound from within. Your crew might be happy, but they are not working. A game of chase. The engine room is an uproar. The crew run to and fro, chasing your warbling Blemigan under tables and behind benches. It dies into a complicated knot of pipework. The engineers reach in to grab it and damn! Actually, that one is all blanked out. I'm pretty sure that one is going to be fuck. Fuck! A scalding burst of steam catches their arm. Sorry, Captain, they say, clenching their jaw. Didn't hear you come in, just, uh, fixing the pipe. Your Blemigan emerges from a vent near the floor and slide, sidles out to you. You'll deal with it later. 
See, that's totally my friend. Just wreaking havoc on my ship. Why the heck not? Oh! That's right, we were given a restaurant recommendation in Vendor Bite. That was, um... Who did that? That was out in Gator's Morn, I think. Well, now we gotta go. Well, no, we would unlock it with our one secret and I should hold on to the secret. Like, it sounds like a good idea, but also this is maybe an invitation to do cannibalism, so maybe we don't. Let's gather the gossip. Oh good, I'm glad that I can still do their quests when they're unequipped. Like, that's why I haven't been picking up officers. I said, darn, I only have the slot for one. Demo's Gate. That's what it was. That's correct. It was the Iron and Misery Funging Station. That's what it is. Oh, it's another officer. Hmm. Well, since we use the secrets mostly to get skills with the officers, I guess spending one on getting an officer is probably a good plan. So let's visit a certain little restaurant. Fine cuisine and vendor bite. Now that would be something. A corkscrewed street. At the twisty tip of an odd little side street, welcoming yellow lights glow from the gilt-lettered windows of the restaurant. A sign reads, Vengeance of Jonah. A beefy tomb colonist bustles up. A gray mustache pokes impertinently out from under his bandages. Come in, come in. A bandaged poissonier. See, I know it looks like poisoner, but I know enough French to know that it's about fish. It's a guy who cooks fish. That vendor bite seeks passage with a Z captain sympathetic to intrepid cuisine. And I've lost a little terror about it. Vengeance of Jonah, right? Because the whale ate Jonah. Now we're eating... Probably not a whale. I'm gonna be horrified if there's whales here. We haven't found a whale yet. I've been too horrified by living mountains and also giant crabs. The Vengeance of Jonah. It's a cramped little place, but much better lit than most places in the tomb colonies. The scents of the dishes are multitudinous and extraordinary. Are they good? They might be. They might be good. It's difficult to tell. Well, I don't have the strange catch to offer. Oh, but I could recruit the cook. 300 Echo? 300? That's phenomenally expensive. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We will come back with our 300 Echo after we get the townhouse. That's the official decision I'm going to make on this matter. However, while we're here, it would be a shame to not try the special. Sample today's special. The food here is exceptional. You need not fear poisoning or boredom. Definitely not boredom. This is usually a more effective way of reducing terror than purchasing a dusty glass of wine. Ah, oh, figures. And will also reduce hunger. Our hunger is not to be reduced, but that's okay. Good but. You eat with a gusto and leave with relief. But that night you dream of the writhing river. That watercourse where parabola flax grows and nightmares spawn. Perhaps the vengeance of Jonah has been purchasing their spices from behind mirrors again. You were unlucky. Better luck next time. I can't win them all. I definitely went to look for the last constable at Gator's Morn and had a 10% chance of success. And I said, oh, I may as well try this anyway. And if we die, we die. And I managed to succeed. Somehow. All right. We already visited the first curator to get the quest to go find colors. Let's explore Vendor Bite. A raggedy fellow. Madam, I'm a good Zeman. I'm yours if you'll have me. Oh, this is the guy who we take on board, and then you find out he's worshipping salt, and you have to figure out if you will let him worship salt or not. I remember this guy. We'll take him aboard. I'm not tremendously bothered. I figure it's better to... I don't want to say befriend gods, because that is also bad. It's better to not piss off gods than to piss off gods. I'm funny that way. Yeah, we got extremely lucky with that last constable quest. I can't be that lucky 100% of the time. But that was a good one. I was very proud of that. 
think that's all we can do here. We're still good on supplies. Let's go. Terror is higher than I want it to be, but that's okay. We're not so far from London that if I need to desperately reduce terror, I can't do it. The only thing I really need to be cautious for, I say as I remember to turn off the light to make myself less visible, the only thing I really need to be cautious for are the living icebergs. As I'm pretty sure that even with my fancy gun and my fancy engine, those guys can probably wallop me pretty good. Oh, we can only travel at the one speed because we're in the snow. I kind of forgot about that dynamic. Kind of forgot that it did that. Good thing we can afford supplies now. It would be awful to be hungry and also just going at the one speed. Come on. Oh, it's the arch. I think we can go under this, actually. Not have to tiptoe painfully around it. Come on. There we go. Get me the heck out of here. I was already warned, this game is slow. It's a slow game. I'm okay with a slow game. Even I'm bothered by going at the one speed when we're in the snow drifts. All right. Wither. I should probably read these things. I probably shouldn't just do this. A riddling contest. Who seeks the ships? Is it the Khanate, our true enemy? What is the nature of sleep? Ah, uh, yes. Witherin's only answer a question with a question. It's an annoying habit in a spy. Perhaps you can piece this report together later. Ah, well. I can't unlock it because my mirrors isn't high enough. But I can do the riddling contest. A riddling... A, lit a riddling contact. Your contact's riddles make little sense to you. Perhaps you can combine them with the lore you've already learned. Well, I gather fragments like there's no tomorrow, so let's go ahead and try it. Aha. A long struggle. Eventually, you've teased the meaning out of his words. It's like trying to convince a cat to release a ball of wool. He's cat smug, too. At last, you have your information. Hooray! Now we have the two strategic information, so we can do fancy things. Shore leave is a low risk challenge. The folk, are... the folk of Wither are quiet and sly, and mystical. They subsist on cavefish and the dust burrowing beast of the waste. Their beer, however, is adequate. Ah, uh, it's only. Nah. So, my my rule with cheap shots. If something is clearly a glitch, like if it's not supposed to exist in the game, I'm probably going to pass over it. To me, that's that's against the spirit of the rules. If it's like an actual strategy in the same way that going to the salt lines and ferrying things back and forth to get money is an actual strategy, I'm all for that. Real strategies? Okay. Clearly glitches? Not as great. Let's gather some intelligence, because we're here. The citizens of Wither enjoy questions so much that they always answer a question with a question. Another question. This can make intelligence gathering frustrating. Are you asking for a particular reason? At what time of day? Is that your hat? Might it be six? It could be six. Eventually you cobble together enough implication and supposition to compose a report. Ah. Let's explore the town. Ah, well, if it's closer to that end of the strategies, we'll leave it alone. Trust in my ability to always use Google if I get frustrated enough. Like, I will absolutely off-camera be like, hold on, hold on, let me pull up the laptop. Wither is a quiet, chilly town of gray stone and closed courtyards. The people are neither exactly unfriendly nor exactly hospitable. 
I don't think I have enough secrets for the doctor to train my mirrors high enough. Well, my doctor trains in pages, so unto itself, we already have a problem. Oops. Explore the town. Oh, I forgot about this. An intriguing smell. Who'll try, who'll buy, a street vendor turns skewers on a grill. The mixed scents are nothing like anything sold in London. So... You'll find that I have a I have a certain degree of adventurousness that I will do and won't do. This is under 50% success, and also I don't think the benefit of trying these things is going to be worth it. So I will take my grilled troglodyte prawns and be happy. Huge and pale, and their eyes stare bleakly into yours, but they smell fresh. I will risk a low chance challenge if I feel like nothing terrible will happen. I'm pretty sure that if I try one of those challenges there's a real chance that I'll be poisoned. <laughs> I remember reading that Pages was hard to tr to get more of in the game. We actually got half of the pages from our last captain. We chose that le le particular type of inheritance. So we we're not we're not nowhere, but it's not great. The House of the Question. Northwest of Withertown, the House of the Question stands alone. Here, the initiates of the house make offerings to the three gods of the deep Z, and perhaps a fourth who is not a god. It is the only place in Wither where you can sometimes get a straight answer. Or a price. Well, I don't know that I want to ask about the drowned man. That's one of those things where if you ask about it, it feels like you're going to get a more troublesome answer than you actually want. I also think defying the gods is maybe not the way to go here. While I don't necessarily have great admiration for the gods. I don't want to piss them off. Oh, see, I had a vague uh, I had a vague recollection that you could have special accomplishments. I just I have just like obviously have no idea what there are. We'll find out, I'm sure. Oh, interesting. They only take currency in Z stories or tales of terror. Fascinating. Hmm. I don't need supplies. I was just curious. All right, we're going. This is what we came for. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. No, 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 thank you. I need to get back to the salt lions. Like, that was the plan. The plan was to sneak up to Wither. Oh, that's right, Codex is nearby. Correct. Good call. We'll swing by Codex, and then we'll try to make our way towards the shore and into the light buoys again. You would think that I would learn my lesson about having 100 terror... But it absolutely has not stopped me in any measurable way. And then I hit a dock. Good. The Isle of Codex. Codex, a desperate cave full of cave full of mute exiles, and an inexplicable colony of shivering bad tempered monkeys. I mean, what else are you gonna do? We'll compile our court our port report. Silently forthright. The exiles see many come, fewer leave, some are even willing to communicate, but their gestures are unfamiliar, the meaning unclear. Even when you can understand, these are answers without questions, as useless as a key without a lock. Excellent. Very good. See, that kind of intervention I'm pretty okay with. As long as the stories remain a surprise, I'm not gonna get jumpy. Why? Why do I keep making that choice? I probably should have swung around to the other side of the flurry. It's alright, maybe I can avoid it altogether by swinging this way over. Maybe not, because there's a really inconvenient rock. Okay. 
Killing the vibes, Rock. Yeah, I'm curious about the monkeys. It's not what you'd call a good habitat for them. Not that this place is a good habitat for much of anything, except for the, the water creatures who live here. Although, again, I don't know how true that is. It sure seems like people have adapted to being in here. We're even warned at the canal to not spend too much time on the surface because it would, it would be harmful. Nope. Nope. We are not picking fights with the wildlife. We are not going near the bats. They, spa they pack a surprising wallop for being bats. Oh. Nope, that's vendor bite. We already got it. I suppose I could at least take some comfort in the knowledge that it was Mount Armageddon. Not Armageddon. Shoot. Well, anyway, it was a living mountain that did me in last time. It was not the bats. For a hot minute there, it looked like the bats were going to kill me. Inland on the western and southern continents. I believe that, actually. I did see that one of the wind conditions was traveling east. Like, there's there's obviously more to the chart than what we see. The bats are surprised. They, they do a surprising amount of damage, especially if you're a new captain and have no idea what you're doing. The jellyfish, too, are deeply unpleasant. Mount Nomad. That's who it is. Mount Nomad was who did me in. That's a respectable enemy to die by. Wasn't bats. Although I have definitely hit a point where I have killed bats in a peak of frustration and said, we're not even going to eat them. They're not even worth eating. Just throw them over. They're just an annoying enemy. The crabs will at least leave you alone. The bats never seem to. I didn't go to the salt lines. Gosh darn it. It's fine. It's fine. It's annoying, it's fine. Ah, the crewman. This is the Zaylor who came begging to you for a berth. He's done good work, this one, but he's keeping a little shrine to the salt. The nameless god of the horizon at the back of the hold. We will allow it, because I am possibly very foolish, but I get the feeling that not allowing it would make Salt mad. Either he's fictitious and will not affect me no matter what I do, or he's real and will be mad if I do not allow the worship of Salt. You let him keep his Salt Circle and his Chalked Arrow. That night, as you stand on the foredeck, a soft breeze comes out of the east. The Salt's direction tussles your hair passes. Ah, these guys. I seem to always get the revenue men. It seems to always be a thing. And they never find anything because I'm not a proper smuggler. Breath of relief. Ah, the nightmare strength is now at three. Good. Messages from the harbor master. I need to go to the hold. Where's my information? There it is. I have... Well, I have more distant memories than I do moves in the game. See, I was told that it involved a bit of doing, but I get the feeling that all of the ambitions probably involve a bit of doing. Um, I'm gonna go with Memory of a Distant Shore because I just have more of those. Of course, that's why, that's where. And now you know who. I have one vital intelligence. The Admiral. Submit vital intelligence. What's that? 
Tell me, quickly. Enthusiastic nods. I'm glad you brought this to me. I have a colleague of sorts, a diplomat, so-called. I will tell you because I trust you. This diplomat will pay better, but I will put the information to better use. He leans forward. There are powers in this world I cannot speak of. There are more affairs of the Navy I am not proud of. Bring me more information like this and we can set matters right. Well. Recovering by Supremacy, London. Ooh, but that's a healthy amount of echo. I've lost the intelligence and I've gained the Admiralty's favor. Let's turn in my port reports. Hunter's Keep is not doing anything different. Give me fuel anyway. Bender Bite is also not doing anything different, but please give me more fuel. Wither is new. There we go. I'm hoping that we can get 120, like we're just 20 shy. That way I can afford the deposit for the Serpentine and upgrade the lodgings. Iron Republic. Oh, I haven't read this one yet. Excuse me, I need to unlock this. And this. Oops. And this. Could you place your report inside? Yes, I imagine someone will read it. Eventually. There's always someone. Voomph. I... No, I didn't expect that to happen. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Some reports should not be reported. No, no, don't concern yourself. This was my third best suit, and the Admiralty offers a modest allowance for document reading damage. Perhaps it's best if you leave now. Good day. Ooh. You didn't even give me any echo for it. I guess to be fair, we did burn his suit. Codex. Exiled for giving answers. That's wither for you. Anything new? Yay, we did it. And the salt lions. And Quaker's Haven. See, I've been saving up a couple of these. might actually have too much fuel now. Is there anywhere you need me to go? The fuel is a big deal, I have learned. The Admiral deals directly with more sensitive commissions. I'm looking for any particular tasks for strategic intelligence. This port. Oh, we've been here. Port Cecil, or Port Cecil. You know, this is London. I bet you it's Port Cecil. Which is helpful. The other option, of course, is to go to the Iron Republic, which is fine, except for you're probably going to have to fight pirates about it. Oh, I haven't, I haven't had this option yet. Ask the Admiral what he thinks of the voracious diplomat. The diplomat, a half-legendary, all-infamous figure whose connection to the Admiralty is obscure. A frank scowl. An unprincipled scoundrel, the Admiral snaps. If you have intelligence, bring it to me. Don't go off the books. Well. Ooh, I'm glad that it got- uh, I'm glad that they're doing those throwbacks into Sunless Sea. I think this was the first that they came out with, right? The first that Fail Better came up with in this particular setting. We already did these things, so perhaps not. While I'm thinking of it, let's talk to the voracious diplomat. The diplomat lairs near Mansion's Pyre in a second floor above the gymnasium for puglistic ladies and gentlemen. Clever. Your conversation is punctuated by distant shouts and blows. The diplomat smiles fondly at the sounds. Pick up an agent. I have a friend, the diplomat says casually. Who would, like, who would be grateful for passage somewhere else, the Conate, for instance, or Port Carnelian? Hmm. Well, we haven't been to those places, and I'm pretty sure... Oh, Fallen London would have been the first one, then. Because this game is not that old. A thing you don't know about me, because we've just met over Twitch. I play what you might call vintage games for the most part. Usually, I don't play anything newer than ten years old. 
that this was seven years old, I really had to go, mmm, mmm, let me really think about this. Well, that's kind of cool. Now I might have to check out Fall in London, because that sounds awesome. All right, I haven't been out to these far edges of the map yet, so I don't want to pick up this particular quest just for this lady. I don't have the vital intelligence. I do have moves in the great game, but I want to hold on that. Ah. This is one of those moments where I am going to take your word for it, knowing full well that I'm going to be okay either way. But you also have my implicit trust, so you could absolutely screw me over in your decision making, and I would never be any of the wiser. Let's pick up the agent. Oh, I've lost a favor with the Admiralty, though. That's fine. I mostly just use those to repair the ship. Network's a diplomatic agent. This one keeps out of the way. They will sometimes be needed to improve an espionage network. Excellent. I don't think Port Carnelian is especially far. Like, of all the places to go, I think that one will probably be the easiest. Ask about the diplomat's role. What kind of diplomacy is involved? A catly grin. The kind of diplomacy that doesn't get written down. I'm attached to the Admiralty, not the Foreign Office. London is what she was, but she has interests abroad. I look after them as best I can. I do hope you're patriotic enough not to ask for too many details. Will. Ask about the Dark Speckled, Ad Dark Speckled Admiral. Do they work closely together? Well now, the Admiral is a man of principle. Very straightforward, very traditional in his views. I think it's rather courageous of him to expect the Navy to operate without outside assistance. But he has excellent taste in both chamber music and wine. I hope that makes my feelings clear. So I happen to speak passive-aggressive enough to know that if you're complimenting somebody's style before their attributes, you probably don't think very highly of them. I'm not myself passive-aggressive, but I come from a family that's very passive-aggressive. I know this game quite well. Um, that's all we could really do there. I don't have anything worth selling to the Alarming Scholar or the Venturer. Like, take my word for it, I don't. But, but... I promised we would do this. We can get our we can get the townhouse now. Hooray! A good address on Hollow Street. It won't be cheap. Zaylor's service. You have your your crew cart your things from the blind helmsman to your new address. If anyone respectable calls, they'll pass as servants. Ah, excellent. Ooh. Fall in London does sound pretty cool. Like, I do appreciate that we haven't really explored Fall in London so much in this game, because we're just, we're just sailing on the Z. We only come here to deal with the Admiral, and my townhouse is here. We don't go into the city at all. Which I thought was kind of a bummer, but made sense given that this is seafaring. Z-faring. Excellent. Oh! You could sell your townhouse, too. I didn't know that. That's kind of neat. Wait a minute, you have to pay a hundred echoes to rest in your townhouse? Rude. Oh, but let's go to my study. I didn't have a study in the Helmsman. Once your lodgings are large enough to support a study, you can create items such as an ironclad will, whispering trophy cabinet, or a zong of the Z. Here we go. Well, I can't afford to make the will now because I need that for the deposit for the serpent stone. But this is good to know. This is helpful. Oh my gosh. So this was the ambition that I had for my last captain, right? The Zong of the Z. Look at all the things you need. 40 secrets. Woof. Heavens. Perhaps not. Well, I was hoping to get a better ship at some point, but I get the feeling we're going to be doing house upgrades for a minute. Oh, one of the things I can do, though... I know that she has a storyline associated with her. 
Yeah, The Secrets was seven. No, The Secrets was 40. But like um, The Tale of Terror was 77. The Memories of a Distant Land was 77. Like there was a lot of things. I know The Specialist Surgeon has a particular storyline that goes with there, but there was another. I want to see the other available officers is I guess where I'm going with that logic here. London. A new recruit. But not these- oh, it was actually the Brisk Campaigner, who I was told was maybe going to be a good fit. Ah, but it's just slightly too many echoes. Maybe I can sell something. Maybe I have things to sell. That's true, there are other ports as well. We're not married to the notion, necessarily. I got these casks of mushroom wine for free. So probably I don't have to feel bad selling them. And I only need to sell one of them. Hmm. I think in this one instance... Nope, we already have a doctor on board, so there's not a real benefit. I know that there's a benefit to having a doctor on board, but we have one of those. We have a doctor aboard, so... I think this is maybe fine. We can wait. London... Hmm. Interesting. So I think I will actually do it. I think I will go sell that mushroom wine and go ahead and recruit her. It's one cask of mushroom wine. It's not going to be the end of the world. Right, the Presbyterate Adventurous is in a couple of places. I've seen her in a couple. One, of course, was here. But we will sell, it's just, it's just 20. It's just a little deposit. We can always buy more mushroom wine. It will be a whole echo more than what I just sold it for. A new recruit. The Brisk Campaigner. Hoy, you need a real physician. None of your surgeons. I mean, it's part of why I was interested in the, in the campaigner. Welcome aboard. Hmm, do you have anywhere cleaner? Well, if I must do it myself, where can I find a mop? I find that very respectable. She knew that she needed to immediately clean up the place. Very good. Ah. Yeah, that's enough, I think. Um, I think that's all that I need to do while I'm in London. Oh, one more thing. Nope, no more things because I don't have enough money. I was gonna go carouse and see my sweetheart. But probably we should actually, like, you know, do some sailing. I hear that's important in sailing games. Especially if you're farming rock from mysterious sphinxes out in the middle of the haunted ocean. Do... did time pass at Hunter's Keep, maybe? Can I get my extra crate of supplies? I can't, but I can reconnoiter the island. Oh, but I have news. That will lure them out. Reduces some terror, gets me some supplies. Excellent. Great. Onward. Avoiding the crabs. Right, you can see the little... No. No bats. No to bats. With their surprising wallop. Right, you can see the little lantern down here when time passes. It's just that Hunter's Keep is always so close to fall in London that you really do have to choose between one or the other.
I'm not a complete noob. Well, not at all true. I'm very much a complete noob. I'm just a well-informed noob. I'm that weirdo who reads the tutorial. Like, I read the book. I sat and I actually read it. Already making a mess of this. Nope. Nope. I am not here to engage with crabs. I am not here for the bugs of the sea. I mean, that's true. You could wait. But it honestly seems better to pick one or the other and then you just hit the other one on the way back. If you're desperately interested- Ah! Why is there a giant? I haven't fought one of those big crabs. I don't know how much they're gonna hurt my ship. My guess is a lot, though. You could theoretically wait outside of them. It, it seems better to just hit one than the other. Just because I don't much daisy chain doesn't mean I don't understand the principle of it. All right. I am here for some rocks. Special rocks. Apparently they weep sometimes. Always, always hitting the dock. It's like parallel parking, but worse somehow. Port report. On makers. Just because they help me lose a little bit of terror. Sphinx stone. Please. Thank you. I'm gonna take it back to London and hope that they're gonna be there. They might not be there, and they might be like, go to Irem, and I'll be like, well, I have one Echo. Thanks for that. Well, that is helpful, but I, I still feel like the best move with the wildlife is don't engage the wildlife, if you can help it, and you're not desperate. I have definitely been hungry enough to kill crabs just to reduce the hunger score. I have also killed bats just to get a crate of supplies. Ah, speak of the devils. Wow, it really is. Deal with bats or deal with a fog bank. Rude. This game is rude. Not here for bats, so I guess we're gonna increase our terror by going into the fog. I didn't know that winning fights would lower terrors. I sort of assumed that doing that with pirate ships was kind of always decent. Because usually you can get either fuel or food from them. Sometimes both. Sometimes cooler things even. Just not a lot. Fifty-four. Not ideal. Man, I sure hope that the customs people are here and that they'll take my stone. Because I've got one crate of supplies left. If we get to that point, then I really am just going to have to start selling things. I've been holding on to them. Hoarding. Not because I'm the worst, per se, but because I know there will be a use for them. And why not hold on to things now? At least we got the fancy townhouse. This guy. An inspection by the Ministry of Public Decency. Some things are too illegal for the Customs Service to admit the existence of. The Ministry are here looking for those. 
I have nothing to hide. I'm not badass enough to be a pirate. Thank you. Oh, but we've lost our suspicion. That's something. We'll take that. Something has changed in the Neath. Yes, they took it! Ha 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 ha! eventually find a creature that had a prepossessing mass in it. Interesting. Interesting. I'm honestly just happy that they were here to friggin take the stone. The last time I did this, I didn't I was in the same situation. I had one echo and the person wasn't here to take the stone. So I had half of my cargo filled up with this stone and being told, by the way, you need to travel literally across the map to get rid of it. It was not my favorite. I did not like it. And there is indeed less goo with not fighting the wildlife. All right. We went on a night out. We reduced some terror. We saw the guy again. Further reducing terror. Well, I don't have an engineer yet. At the end of the rotting dock, a woman perches on a suitcase. Both she and the suitcase are noticeably cleaner than everything else in view. Hello, where are you headed? On second thoughts, I don't mind. Can I come aboard? Yes, I am an engineer, but I'm an engineer in a hurry. There's also the Carnelian Exile, but they're expensive, and I am okay not yet having a first officer. But an engineer might be helpful. I get the feeling that there's an actual benefit to having an engineer. Navy's daughter is an engineer who increases veils, iron, and engine power. And the engine power was what I was interested in. Yes. Come aboard, friend. Low-key hoping that one of these officers doesn't turn traitor and kill me. It seems like that kind of game. Welcome aboard. If anything comes looking for me, well, I'm not accepting callers. Can I trust you to pass that on? You don't want them distracting me from my duties. True, true. I will absolutely lie about your whereabouts. Aha! Mostly, the Exile's offerings were not good enough to justify spending the 50 Echo on just yet. I mean, I might be there, but I only have about 500 Echo, and I need to buy supplies before I forget to buy supplies. I think it's... That's maybe a little high. No. Well, we're hoping to get more, so we'll go ahead and stick with that for now. Also, not like I don't have port reports to turn in. Hunter's Keep, nothing new or different. Please give me my five echo and fuel. Salt lines are good. Uh, I don't think that I have anything else to do in here. I sure don't. All right. Rose Market, we already did carousing. We don't... Well... Considering we're just going to make another trip to the salt lines, I don't think we need to go into dry dock just yet. We might have to after this last one. I don't think our luck is going to continue to hold on this whole please keep letting me sell stones here. So I think we should probably just get on with it. We have supplies. Terror is not bad. Oh, a thing I can do though, before I forget. Do I not have the ability to read the news anymore? Maybe it's in the sanctuary. Create a shrine to stone. Write a will. 
No, I sure can't. Well, that's annoying. Hmm. Nope. Because then we won't have enough for the deposit. Almost. All right, we're going. That's enough of that. Oh, right. I remember seeing this and went, wow, that's a really brief period of time to actually meet somebody and then also produce a kid. So probably this is a foundling, your sweetheart. A surprise for you on your next return to London. I have taken in a foundling. Cool. What are they thinking? Is this some scheme of theirs or honest affection? I can't believe this game gives you a child. <laughs> Z-captains don't strike me as perhaps the most responsible of people. When it comes to the rearing of offspring, it, it just doesn't seem like a great plan. I understand that it's all about, you know, building a Z-faring legacy and whatnot. I'm just saying it doesn't seem like a good idea. I'll have to look into if I'm just missing the ability to read the news. It seems weird to no longer be able to read the news. Salt lines. All right, you know what? You know what? I didn't see it in my lodgings. That doesn't mean it's not there, I guess. Like, it's entirely possible that I just didn't see it. Yeah, I see you, Bat Swarm. I'm coming. I don't trust you to mind your business. This is why you don't pick fights with the wildlife. Now I'm just mad. No, you're not even worth eating. That was actually a greater reduction of terror than I saw. My lodgings are new and different now. Resting also was significantly more expensive per night. I wonder if I have to make like a one-time upgrade. I don't know. I'll find out. I'll, I'll get there. All right. I think it's actually directly over now. Yeah, what I've learned about this game is that sometimes the situations, like the conditionals, don't always make a lot of sense. Like, I don't think I have any news on me currently. I think I shared that with the Hunter's Keep. But that doesn't mean that I didn't pick news up elsewhere. Oh, you know what I didn't do, though? Nope. I need the gazetteer, please. There we go. No. I do that because... I think I'm going to need to clear out one more thing of inventory. And a great way to do that is to take dinner with somebody. Ah, I do appreciate more terror loss. That's very true. Well, let's speak to Maybe's daughter. Let's invite her to dine. That's a lovely idea. How about a fish dinner? I do have quite particular tastes in fish. Oh no, I need a fresh catch for that. Perhaps not. Maybe let's talk to the brisk campaigner instead. Man, you guys also have a particular way. Fine. You guys are fussy. I have not had to deal with wounds. I do know that resting in your room helps with that. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna make a single trip up the length of this a little bit 
because then I'll reduce. There we go. That's all I needed. I needed to reduce the fuel by one. Port report. A makers. More serpent stone. Very exciting run. I think this is my fourth trip to the salt lions. Brilliant TV. Remarkable. We will do actual exploring later. I do have places to go. I just haven't done it yet. Now, I haven't gotten any wounds, which I thought was very impressive, because I've definitely done a lot of things in which injury seemed like a real possibility. Like rescuing the scarred sister from Hunter's Keep. Did that last run. Didn't seem to pick up any wounds. Fled some cannibals and didn't make my luck roll. Didn't seem to pick up wounds. So I have no idea how that system works here. I'm sure I'll find out. Man! You really booked it, didn't you, Crab? You were really determined. Jerk Crab. I am not here to engage with wildlife. I am here to transport rocks. Since my little something awaits me in port picked up, we can advance the Hunter's Keep a little bit. Reconnoiter. Talk to Lucy, because she reduces terror the most. That's it. That's all. I remain impressed that the crabs are that determined to murder me. I would like to tell you that you would think that they've learned, but their continued survival suggests that they've never had to learn not to mess with boats. Don't hit the buoy. I don't think anything happens when you hit the buoy. Oh, here we go. Oh, this isn't my restless night. This is the crew's restless night. Uh, I have learned, kind of the hard way, that the best way to deal with the crew having nightmares is to just not acknowledge them. And you lose one terror about it. I bet you if my pages was higher, there would be a better reward for it. I don't think crabs hug. Like, if this were an animal that lived socially and groomed each other, I would agree that perhaps the crabs were just trying to hug me. These are crabs. They do not do that. Here we go. I have offspring. You, your sweetheart, and your child. What will your child call you? My child can call me mother. I'm not quite of the captain bend. Just incidentally a captain. Only a captain because I salvaged the last captain's ship, what, re what remained of it, and also I want to go find my father's bones which are somewhere. You may visit your child at your lodgings, even when you gain a free evening. You always get free evenings when you return to London, but here's one now. Excellent. Here it is, a small, warm, apprehensive, affectionate creature. Treat it gently. Well, the good news is that I'm not mean to children. I'm so-so on people, but I'm not, as a rule, mean to children. Report reports. Not many, but you know, turn them in. Salt line. Wait, what? No. Oh, that's right. That's right. Well, of these things, fuel is probably the cheapest. Well, that'll learn me. I forgot that I had those in there. Whoops. Uh, story. London. Deliver serpent. Ah, she's here. 
delivers Serpentstone to a smiling woman in an elegant jonquil gown places a gloved hand on your arm. Are you waiting for the Ministry Men? They won't be coming, but I have a proposition for you. This is the thing that got me killed last time, so watch me do it again. Bright gown, bright hair. Her skin glows with health. Her smile is wise and merciless. That stone's full of old memories. The bazaar has been... The bazaar has been drinking them, she nods at the spires that loom over London, the dark limbs that sprawl through the streets. I have a better destination. Help us bring light here below and we will reward you. Reward you richly. See, I see you advising me taking them to Geode, and I, I do understand that logic. Geode is a much safer trip to make than the other place. But this lady weirds me out. Like... I know she wants to bring light here and everything, but this was not a place that was meant for that. I'm pretty... well... That's true. We don't actually know what will happen. For the science. We are a natural philosopher, so when I make decisions I don't like, it's always going to be for the science. Let's try it. Accept. A brilliant smile. Captain, thank you. You are clear of eye and clear of spirit. Bring the Sphinx Stone south to the Grand Geode. It was an admiralty base once. Now it's something wonderful. She kisses you warmly on the cheek. We'll see you soon. That is true. So that when our next captain comes in... A dusty gentleman. Captain, wait! She gave you an errand, didn't she? She serves a certain power. A bright one, but not a friendly one. I have a counterproposal. Will you listen? He stoops like a clerk and coughs like a miner, but that frock coat is one of the finest fabrics in the newest cut. My name is Penstock, he says. The bazaar has been feasting on old memories from the salt lions. It only makes her more melancholy, and that's worse for all of us, but especially those who love her. So we found another use for the Sphinx Stone. We can set something right. All right, this time we will reject his plea for the science. Please, if you change your mind, I'll still be here. Please, the bazaar. She has been so sick with stories. Help me. Help her. Well, good news, friend. If your only goal is to not have the stones in the bazaar, me taking them to the geode does accomplish that goal. That's the good news. All right, let's go ahead and go to the dry dock. Because all I know is that the geode is south, but I don't know how far south. He's the person who sells most of the lodgings in Fallen London. Interesting. I kind of wonder what that means for us. I guess we're gonna... I don't think we'll find out in this game. Maybe if I play Fallen London. Of course, it will, we have to see how long I'm going to be obsessed with the um, Sunless Sea. I really like it. It's really great. So let's call in my Admiralty Favors to fix the ship. That seems to be the best use of the Admiralty Favors. You don't have to spend as much money that way. And also, haven't found a lot of other uses for the Admiralty Favors. I guess you can get fuel. It's fine. Alright, I think... Rose Market. I don't need to hire on more crew... I don't have a new recruit because I've already used a new day, so let's go to my lodgings. Oh, let's spend time with my- hold on. Back to the city, consider retirement, purchase a mansion, sell your townhouse, rest in the elegant townhouse, visit study time with family. So none of that was read the news, and the only other place I can think of where you would read the news is in the study. Create a shrine, anatomical cabinet, serene aquarium, monstrous almanac, whispering trophy case, write a will, adorn your lodgings. Oh, I didn't think about the custom officials, but, you know, I'm not cool enough to be a pirate, so that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, none of these are read the news. I wonder if it happens when you rest. Either way, I'm going to spend time with my unfortunate offspring, who is only unfortunate because... I am their mother. Your sweetheart comes and goes. They have their own complicated business, but they always return to your shared home and your child. Oh, 
It's a delight, but will it always be a delight? The Zaylor knows two worlds. One foot on sea and one foot on shore, right? That's how it goes. If you give a suitable present to your child, they will gain sea fever. If sea fever reaches 25, they will run away to sea, becoming your scion. This will establish a permanent dynasty of future sea captains. So I think that if you were a captain of a boat and also a natural philosopher, you probably would just overshare about your seafaring because that's what people in sciences tend to do. So naturally, we're going to tell tales of far lands. Wow, that was a big reduction in terror, too. I'll take that. I mean, you lose one of your me memory of distant shores, but... Yeah. Kind of neat. And then I think that I turned in all of my reports. Yep. I sure did. Don't need anything from the rose markets. I think that makes sense, actually. I do believe... I didn't... I haven't recently caroused. See, I don't even have the option to carouse anymore. Curious. Oh, I already have recent news. I'm a fool, is what just happened. Well, that was a fun little goose chase. Well, since I have no cargo hold, I guess we're going. South. South to Geode. I don't really know where Geode is. My guess is that it's going to be here or here. I don't believe it's all the way over. But we already made a lot of the mid-south area. Can't believe that I just tracked all that down just to be like, where's the news? And I already had the news. So. I will hit up the light boat with news on the way back if I don't find a better use for it. Really? To be fair, there's a whole bunch of things going on in this game and I can't keep track of all of them. Like, I've got a bunch of people who want me to go to a bunch of places, and I'm like, I'll do that, and then I never remember the places. But while we're here, we'll stop by Mutton Island. If we're gonna pass by a port, I will pick up a port report. Get away from me, crab. Approach Mutton Island. Is there something in the air today? A restless breeze? Approach the dock. It's probably nothing. The moment passes. The ship slides into dock. Good. I'm glad that moment passed. I thought it was either the light or the land. I didn't think that they were both stacked. I guess that's helpful. I'm just looking over. There was a Veils mission that I didn't get to do last time. Because it was just, I just didn't have the Veils for it. It was to spy on a local festival and I don't see the festival now. So, guess we'll do some other things. Uh, let's explore the shore. Disembarking from a stony bay, you watch as a swift cor corvette draws into harbor. The men and women on board are dressed in naval uniform and walk as if they were balancing the good book on their heads. And though the gas lamps on the dock blaze as if to burn the work, not a sailor squints. Well, that was anticlimactic. Let's talk to the fisherman. Even I can spend an echo. Get my port report. I already did this, but there's no reason not to. Oh, I failed the challenge. That's weird.
You stand on a cliff top, looking over the island's village. Smoke from the chimneys of the cock and magpie drifts straight upwards. There's not a breeze to ruffle your hair, nor to lift your collar. Below you, a young woman carries what could be real flowers, handing them out with a curtsy to everyone she meets. I am mostly suspicious that there are real flowers on this island. That doesn't make any sense. Avoid Mr. Eaton and Wells. Goodbye. Alrighty. Nice to meet you. Hello, goodbye. I don't need supplies. I don't need fuel. All right, I'm deeply paranoid, so. I have room. I'm deeply paranoid, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy a crate of supplies. No, I'm not because they're expensive here. Well, better to spend it. Remember, remember the last lesson we learned from playing this game. Just don't do the thing that's the thing in the place. I mean, I would love to not do the thing in the place. The problem is the whole game is the thing in the place. That's the whole game you're talking about. Howdy, Bareth. I don't think you're on on Fridays. I could be wrong. I'm just making a supposition here. But really, this whole game wants to kill you. That is the other thing we learned. Everything here wants you murdered. I mostly know Barith from from watching Barith die repeatedly in Elden Ring. I was about to say I was about from watching Barith play Elden Ring. But we all know that Elden Ring isn't a game you play in so much as it is a game you die in. You general, I've not seen anybody who's been particularly good at not dying in Elden Ring. It's probably wise to take breaks. You can tell that I picked up a new game and am playing it obsessively because I'm here on a Friday. Also, my work schedule was changed just for this Friday, so I can be here. Usually I'm working Friday evenings. Let's drop by the canal. I don't think that being good at dying in Elden Ring is a unique skill. Just gonna throw that out there. I mean, admittedly, I haven't played Elden Ring largely because I watch players like you die repeatedly in Elden Ring and I go, oh, that just seems fussy and hard. The canal staging area. Let's get that port report. Always. And let's listen for gossip, because yeah, you can usually get a moves for the great game here. That's true. You can, in fact, be more or less effective at dying. Like, that's a reasonable thing you just said. Uh, we're still pretty good here, so let's go out. We're doing much better. Like, having that big investment of money at the beginning was very helpful. So I have a better gun. I have better engines. I chose the slightly less dangerous option here. z -Batch. So we made it to the Iron Republic. And I'm actually, I've, I've been to Pigmode Island, but I'm not gonna stop there just yet. I guess we should go by the shore. I promise I'm not drunk. I'm not drunkenly driving this boat. I'm just indecisive. Actually, this is not a great area to be far from shore, now that I think it is. We haven't made it to the submarine. We'll get there. We're just not there yet. Actually, while we're here, we might as well A, get the port report, and B, get some of that cheap fuel. See, this is the problem with coming to the Iron Republic. These guys will always murder you. There are no laws in the Iron Republic. Not even the laws of nature. It occurs to me that I'm not terrible at taking tight turns in these tiny ships. 
probably it's going to get much harder if I ever get a bigger boat. Iron Republic. There's a gunnery officer. Yeah, the plan here was to pick up fuel, like, in addition to also grabbing this port report. As I recall, you can't even turn these things in. Oh, but you gained two pages. That's helpful. We're not gonna send the Zaylers ashore. The Market of Hunger is the Calvary Doctrine. On days such as this, the market is filled with crucified dragons and laws in waiting. They whistle as a welcome. Man, this place is so creepy. Visit the shops. Fuel. Just because I don't know where specifically we're going. I mean, that makes sense, though. I'm, I don't want to say that, in general, DLC writing is better, because that's not at all the case. I've definitely seen it be much, much worse. But Fail Better is an indie studio. They definitely sharpened the knife here on this. And I bet you Submariner is better. I really want to get to it, but it's an investment to get to it. You have to find the people and the places and the stuff and the things. Where am I going? Story. Well, I can't do that. Is it really just the one thing? I can't engage the guy here? Fine. Fine. I was maybe gonna pick up a gunnery officer, but I don't know. Probably was eaten. Probably was eaten. Seems like a thing that happens here. All right. We are looking for... What is the name of the place we are looking for? The Geode. And it is somewhere. I believe if we continue along the southern shore, we hit Carnelian. And I believe Geode is, in fact, an island. But I don't know that. And I realize that it's foolish to rely on the Z-Bat further south. Thank you, my friend. Very helpful. Mostly that saves me on time. Since I should probably get closer to shorelines then. Made a very unwise decision on how to handle this southern travel. That looks like light. There we go. Well, you look ominous. You look like a rock formation. Are you Geode? Grand Geode, some distance to the southwest. Lovely. That's not west. Bet you it's you. You look like a Geode. Where is your port? Where is the port? Zelos Town. Oh, nope. I passed it. I passed it. I didn't realize I could go underneath here. Because it's a top down map, it's hard for me to tell when I can go under stuff. Which is what happened there. Hooray! Grand Geode, a naval base with the Royal Navy's emblems. Curiously amended. Efficient, bright-eyed women and men work briskly everywhere you look. They are singing hymns with unfamiliar words. Hard-faced Royal Marines watch you carefully, barring entry into the Geode's heart. A plaque by the dock has been defaced with orange paint, but you can still make out the original inscription, Station 5, Adjunct. We saw Station 3. I do wonder what the stations are. Port report. The marines are watching. How nice for them. Well, let's deliver the Sphinx Stone before the opportunity escapes me. The bright-eyed sequencer sent you here. Another equally bright-eyed quartermaster awaits you in your stones. 
Ooh, that's an income. Yeah, no, that's a real thing about the lights. I haven't really mastered light management other than this seems fussy and I'd rather just leave it off. I have a very sophisticated mind that says things like, ah, that seems complicated. I'm just not going to mess with that. The stones, marvelous. The bazaar is the enemy of our light. It's the enemy of anyone with eyes, too. Nasty, greedy, tentacled thing. Well, our light will sort it out. You'll see. Because you have eyes, and wonderful eyes they are, too, if I might say so. This stone of yours will help, and we reward those who help us. Here, a bundle of banknotes. Here, a monograph on perception. And here, she leans forward and kisses you, once on each eyelid. As she draws back, the world has changed. You always knew the Neath was a place where the laws of the sunlight world did not apply, but now somehow you can see it. Is this chaos or freedom? The quartermaster directs her laborers to pack up the stone. The Z is quiet. The geode glows like a lamp. Hey, that is quite a lot of reward, the light. It's pretty. That it's called menaces isn't good. I don't love that. Let's speak to someone in authority, because we're here and we can. The Commodore may be able to give you a few minutes. The Commodore shakes your hand warmly. He's a handsome, open-faced fellow with an immaculate naval, in an immaculate naval uniform. His office is equally handsome. It overlooks the glittering interior crystal cliff. It must be well lit as any study in the Neath. He deflects questions about the purpose of this installation, classified, you know, but smilingly offers you tea, biscuits, and mineralogical anecdotes. The biscuits are good, but the anecdotes rather blend one into the next. You find yourself nodding, and then, jerk suddenly awake, the Commodore is smiling, your cup is empty. You feel well, very well, a little euphoric even. Come back soon, he says softly. Wow, that sure sounds to me like I got drugged on now. Hmm... Another time, perhaps we will go west-southwest of the geode. Assuming it's in the same place, everything moves here. You now have memory memoirs, a sunstroke. You've spoken to the Commodore and Grand Geode, but your memory is a little hazy. I don't like that I have another menaces thing. Like, I already have. Hey! I can pick up the Carnelian Exile here, and it's for free! Oh no, you have to unlock with um the sunstroke memoirs that we just had actually let's go ahead and pick them up i could use a first officer we have that space free engage an officer the carnelian exile a dark spectacled woman marches up to you in some haste madam take me with you i am no longer welcome here and i will show you where we need to go ah See her before we meet the Admiral. That's fair. Welcome aboard. Here I am. A ship, I suppose. It's both always here and never there because there becomes here. I hate that I understood that line of logic. I hate that that made sense to me. All right. We picked up a free first officer. Excellent. And we cleared out a bunch of space in our hold. No shops here. Why would there be shops here? Why would anybody make my life easy by putting a shop here? Everything is good. All right. Well, I need to see what our journal holds then. Because I know that there's a bunch of places I need to go, but I don't remember where any of them are. Also correct, I do need to equip her. Soft-spoken and a little mystical, how much does she see? We'll talk to her in just a second. I need a, I need a heading, given that heading is almost certainly going to be go back to London. Objective. Here we go.
all of the dinners have been a little... I don't want to say that they've been pricey, but they've been particular. Mangrove College is a place I need to go. I don't like that it says Ambition Find Your Father's Bone, but it doesn't tell you where the next destination is. Can't use either. Come on, guys. One port due east. Well, going east and then going up the coast is not a bad move. Here it is. Seek Visage, that's where it is. Somewhere in the south of the Z. Well, we are in the south. Maybe if I can find a port to resupply. Due east. Hold on, let me pull up my chart here for just a second. I know that there's something else over there, but we can also head east. I think Carnelian is supposed to be down here someplace. Not a friend. Ah, there's land. I knew that there was a southern coast. Now, maybe we'll be able to find a place to resupply and we can keep looking. It doesn't seem likely, but we might. I live in optimism, like a fool. Some kind of habitation over here. The Carnelian Coast, far to the south. Port Carnelian is some distance to the east. There we go. What the heck is that? Nope, too close. Come on. I like when I hit the docks, it's only one damage to my hull. Just enough to say, hey, Moron, watch where you're driving. Excellent. Oh, the Zubmariner. I forgot where she was. I didn't know she was here. Fallen London's sole imperial possession, Port Carnelian, treasure it. Zubmariner, the fierce philanthropist. Her house is built in the tall, porticoed London style. Red brick and white plaster, decorative iron railings, painted black, its mistress is the subject of intense colonial gossip, independently wealthy, an industrialist's daughter, a widow, unwelcome in London. What then does she want with you? An invitation arrived as soon as you docked. Well, now we have to talk to her. She's called the philanthropist. What's the worst that can happen? It wouldn't hurt to have the backing of a wealthy benefactor. You expected a sizable gathering, but it's just you, her, and a decanter of admirable sherry. She is not a small woman, and comprehensively occupies her armchair. She wears sensible satins and sensible shoes. Her hair is impeccably curled. I've heard a number of shocking things about you, madam, all of which I consider thoroughly promising. Her accent has a hint of the Midlands. Wow, I picked the wrong voice for her. Has a hint of Midlands melancholy to it. She must have spent much of her life on the surface. For a time, she asks questions about your travels and listens avidly to your answers. Then she gets down to business. A question, madam, she tops up her sherry. Some years ago, the nations of the Neath struck an agreement to abandon their research into submarine travel and leave the sea depths untouched. Ah, the agreement about nothing of consequence. Zaylers mutter about it when listening, when listing the Admiralty's follies. You nod. She raises her glass to her lips. And what is your opinion of this agreement, she asks. Well, that's just silly. Mostly, if it's about not doing something, you can be certain that someone somewhere is going to do it. So, we'll scoff about it. It's a nonsense. Nowhere should be forbidden to the capable explorer, and if we die, it's on our own heads. A new friend. Her smile is conspiratorial. 
then we can help each other. I am prepared to finance, in large part, improvements to your ship that will make it capable of submarine travel. The Admiralty and other powers disapprove of such innovation. Therefore, we will need to be discreet. I have procured experts, laborers, and a workshop. They will be well paid and loyal. Here is your address. Here is the address. Meet us there and we can begin our work. Yeah, submarine, here we come! All right, what can I contribute to make this go a little faster? Unlocked with experimental modifications no more than 99. Well, I don't have any of those. Submarine no more, I have 10. And unlocked with 75 echo. Well, I do have that. I can also contribute advanced theory with my extraordinary implication. All right, well, let's start with additional funding. Specifically, apply bribes that the philanthropist cannot be associated with. Fair. Greasing the wheel, you make a deposit into a blandly named account, and a certain port official turns a blind eye to an incoming cargo of vital but dangerous supplies. Good. Good. And we can contribute advanced theory because of the extraordinary implication I got while doing the salt ritual at the salt lions. I'm horrified to know how that's contributing to our research. These idiots don't have the first idea what they're doing. Enlighten them. The truth burns. One engineer begins to laugh, seemingly unable to stop. Another weeps. The tears scorch his face like cattle water. A third frantically tries to write down what you said, but gives up when her third pen combusts in lavender flame. This changes everything, a grease-stained engineer whispers. Later, his colleague catch him out back, burning his collected volumes of the Transactions of the South Wales Institute for Engineers. <laughs> we told him the truth and it made him so mad that he burned his school books. Fortunately, your vessel benefits from the drastic adjustment to their perspective. Her turbines whirl, her pumps thunder, a river of cabling runs through her interior, dense as a weave in a Turkish carpet. I now have an intriguing snippet. Oh, phase two. Retrieve a set of zonar schematics. The engineers have reached an impasse. It's the zonar. It's unreliable, loud, and stops working below 70 fathoms. But the Admiralty and the Connate must have cracked this back in the day. Well, somehow I have the experimental modifications necessary for this. No idea. The engineers brim with conspiracy theories about the old submarine programs. Before the agreement about nothing of consequence, London's Admiralty conducted their submarine research at Station 3. The location of the Connate's research base is unknown, but a number of its scientists relocated to Khan's shadows. Perhaps one of those locations has information you could use. Well, we've been to Station 3 is the good news. I don't know how we're going to get schematics from there, but we've been to Station 3. Excellent. Let me just take a look at what we've got here before I make choices about what we're doing. There's a lot of options here. I guess this was intended to be a farther out port to get to. Oh, that's right, we have the agent. 40 does not feel like a very good chance for that. This is one of those things we're in. Well, that's good to know because we're probably going to go to Station 3 because I know where that is. All right, well, I like cheap terror reductions. I'm trying to think about if I want to put that agent we picked up from the diplomat here into Port Carnelian. I have a 40% chance of success, which I usually wouldn't bother with because I'm worried that if I do it incorrectly, it will go badly. But also, it might not actually have any real negative consequence. We just take the agent elsewhere, if we fail, probably. We'll visit that tea shop, though. 
It's 20 echo. Life terror is nothing to sneeze at. Home away from home, they import the doilies from London, but the tea is local, blue and smoky. The crumpets are warm, the tablecloth's white. You could almost imagine you were back in Veil vale Garden except for the tiger lounging on the divan. It laps tea from an azure bowl and complains about the recent nostalgic trend in poetry. Look, if you don't like your poetry with a little nostalgia, then you're probably not doing it correct. Yeah, let's, let's try to insinuate that agent. Well, I failed. The place is thick with spies. Who would notice another? Once your agent is in place, you can tap your network for information or use it to influence affairs here. A small fish in a big pond. Where are your reports? Where is your intelligence? Where, come to that, is your agent? Did they succumb to the intrigues of more callous or more experienced operatives? Well, all I lost was a hundred echo. And I guess an agent. I'm sure the diplomat will be mad, but the diplomat can bite me. An attempt was made. Um, let's... Let's talk to a tiger in the Blue Bazaar. The Carnelian Coast's padding natives are eloquent, placid, and acerbic most of the time. Trouble abroad. The Blue Bazaar is Port Carnelian's great indoor market. Arched, lofty, plush with patterned carpets where the vendors display their wares. Most of all, awash with gossip. The tiger chats about the banded prince, their supposed monarch, and his palace deep in the jungle. You lever the conversation onto the state of his people. He has no complaints, he says, not even about the recent reinstatement of the travel restriction on natives, nor the report of a tiger killed at the jungle's edge. His tail flicks. Hmm. Interesting. It's locked, so I can't do anything. Probably we're not going to go pan for sapphires. Probably it would be nice to have sapphires, but I don't think we're going to do it. Oh, supplies are a little cheaper here. Ah, but fuel is a little more expensive. Hmm. Well, let's pick up supplies so I don't starve. We'll even out our fuel a little bit, too. I would like to find Visage if it's an option, but it might not be a thing we can manage. We'll give it a try, though. Alright. I think we're going to chat with our officers, because I haven't done that yet. Interesting boat. Alright, Carnelian Exile. Let's chat. One supply. Oh, you have to have a Searing Enigma. That is quite pricey. Maybe it's just an unlock. We'll find out. Speak to the Carnelian Exile. She has the discomf discomfitting, even irritating habit of answering your questions just before you finish speaking. Hmm. Well, what's the difference between asking her to dine? We'll take a look to the north, then. And inviting her to dine. Oh, I see. One is about removing her glasses and one isn't. Well, since it's our first invitation, let's not be rude by asking her to remove her glasses. She's clearly attached to them. So we'll ask her to dine. But don't ask her to remove her glasses. Eyes unconcealed, she regards you for a while, and then, unasked, removes her glasses. She folds them neatly and places them on the table, then meets your eyes. Her own eyes are marvelously bright. The irises are amber. The whites seem to be flecked with gold. Yes, she says, I've been touched by the dawn machine. Aha! I believe you already knew that, or you would have asked me to remove my spectacles. I might be wrong. In either case, nothing has changed. Now that you know, we will still be weary of each other. She taps her thumb against her index finger. I am always the same, do you see? I do not change. I proceed on the same path I always have. I am only one choice. 
and I will be content only when I have no choice at all. Now, let's eat and talk. You promised me something special, and I will give you what little I can in return. Interesting. Well, at least we gained some veils for it. Oh, we can continue this this meeting. I'm not going to throw her out. Hmm. Protest, the journey is the destination, or do we accept? If nothing has changed in response to your choice, then your choice was that of a punt. So we're going to have to go into my own little philosophic bend on this. I, uh, when it comes to fate and free will, I tend to be of the opinion that it doesn't really matter if fate or free will exist. You have to behave as though you have free will or literally nothing will happen. Like pragmatism suggests, you have to make choices. And if nothing means anything, then every choice you make is meaningful because it was a decision you made. So, I guess we're protesting. The journey is the destination. Each choice you make in future will depend on this one. The ship goes where the captain sails, and where the captain chooses to sail depends on where you've been. Narrowed eyes. Did I make an enemy? I guess we're gonna find out. Perhaps, she says. Perhaps our choices determine our heading. But at last, when the lamps go dark, there is only one direction. One day, we'll go there together. She won't be drawn further. She picks up her knife and fork. Between mouthfuls, she tells you something of the starved men and their wars on the roof the arts of flesh shaping, and that they practiced and debated. I enjoyed this, she adds at the end of the meal. We should do it again, when you're ready to talk about salt. Well, I don't know that talking about salt is a good idea. While I do have the rule of don't piss off the gods, I don't know that I want them to be my friends either. Oh, but we can talk to her about it. I mean, I see no reason not to talk to her about it, since the option's here. The Carnelian Exile invites you to her cabin for dinner. We need to discuss a certain direction, she informs you. A brisk dinner. I am persona non gratia at the port in Port Carnelian, the Exile remarks. I was too close to the new sequence and the machine. I have repented of that now, but I'll never go home. She leans closer. Salt's song, she whispers. I hear it on the wind, the way east, the horizon's road. Will you go east, my captain? Will you take me with you? I mean... Hmm... So, recall that our captain is a natural philosopher. I think she would take that whole going back to London thing a little bit seriously. Just a little bit. I mean, the fact that her child is out there aside. If you are a person who has that kind of intellectual bend, you always have to send the research back someplace, right? You got to put the knowledge somewhere. It has to go. You can't just have it live on your ship with you. So I think it's the Z is wide, but I'll always return home. East? The horizon where the, where the god Salt watches? Far and chilly. London is your home. The exile smiles. Destiny is destiny, she says softly. You are the captain I would choose to follow across the Z. If the time comes for you to claim your burning name, speak with me again. I cannot enter the name's prison. Not anymore, she taps her glasses. But perhaps you can. Well. I keep gaining hearts, which makes me think that I'm not fucking this up too badly. But maybe, also, I'm ruining everything. This is one of those games where you don't know until much later how badly you've messed everything up, if you have at all. All right. Let's talk to Maybe's daughter. I don't think I have the ability to bring her in because she wants the strange catch, which I do not have. So none of that. Speak to. And likewise, I don't have Mutter Salt. Mute yourself? Interesting. The brisk campaigner's tastes are expensive. The muter salt ensures that the conversation waits until after dinner coffee. Nah. Alright. Well. We've resupplied. Yeah, I think that there's a couple of specific beasts where you can get strange catch. Or, if I recall. We could also buy it at, um... 
there's a place in London that'll let me buy a strange catch. It'll happen when it does, is mostly what I'm getting at here. All right. I think we will try to find Visage. North is not an unreasonable area. I don't know how much farther west I'd want to go. Maybe one square over. Let's see. Let's see where we're going. I haven't seen muter salt anywhere that I can recall, but I don't think that I pay much attention to those kinds of non-supplies out there. Goodness. Let's travel between two whirlpools. That seems totally safe and fine. Nothing terrible will happen. What is that? Oh, those look like birds. Still no islands. Hmm. Anything north or northeast? Possibly quite a bit east. Hmm. Yeah, the southern area does seem to be pretty vast. Uh, that seems a little... That seems a little chancy. Maybe we don't engage that pirate ship. Yeah, if the bats were bad, I don't imagine that my feeling on the birds is going to be positive. No, 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 no. Friggin' ships. Rat barge. Crew of 15. The other thing I'm not super duper- Ah, why did you see me? You didn't see me. Leave me alone, rat barge. That's right, question mark. Oh, the Fathom King's Hold is to the northeast. I don't know, man, rat barge. If I had to make a wild guess, I'd say from Pigmoat. Oh. Why did my screen go dark about that? That seems important. The Fathom King's Hold. Lorcan's Port, named for that most enterprising of drownies. Philosopher cells... Phosphor cells burn green. Somewhere below, the king waits. That sounds bad. I just thought this was going to be a port. Like an iceberg, like a bizarre master's scheme, like the neath itself, most of the hold is invisible. You see only a tiny portion of sculpted coral. The rest waits below the surface. The Fathom King's bone rooms and aquaria, his pearl snares and his dining chambers. Well... Most of this looks locked. I just wanted a port report. It's all I wanted here. Those granted audience returned dazed, awestruck. The king is not generous, but occasionally he is fair. Probably I could give them shore leave, but I'm not going to. Seems like a place where I would lose sailors. Yeah, I think I think the move is to leave. This place is weirding me out. Chart. Where the heck am I? All right. Well, we managed to circumvent the entire area that I was gonna go look in, which sounds right. That sounds like me. Hmm. Can I? No. What? What are you? I didn't see what you are! Nap. Nope. No. No. No, thank you. No! Whatever is coming for me, don't! Hmm. 
Man, there is no winning. The rat barge is slightly less dangerous. Yeah, I know you can dogfight with ships. The problem is that I am not very good at it. Bread. It might, very quickly here, not matter if I'm very good at it or not. Man, Zebat is not helping me. That's Pigmoat Island, isn't it? I've been avoiding Pigmoat Island because it's such a long, text-heavy thing for me to read. I knew about aft guns, but I only thought about me having aft guns, which I guess was very foolish. I probably should have, you know, figured that others would too. Alright. Wasn't there... Probably it is going to be down here, then. I think the move might be to swing back through here, back up. Hmm. I wish Z-Bat were more reliable. Actually, I don't think it would be this far. Probably be south. It's either going to be east of the Fathom Kings, or it's going to be south of where I am now. Hmm. Quiet phone. I'm going to go just a little bit in here and throw the Z-Bat around. See if anything pops up. And if it continues to be completely barren. Yeah, I see you, jellyfish. I know your tricks. Nope. Nope. Alright, we've got three supplies. Nine fuel. That's not bad. We can we're not far from Port Carnelian. We can stop back down again. Not that Z-Bat is a particularly reliable tool. I have come into many ports where Z-Bat was like, nope, nothing here, only for me to literally roll up into a port. I could see that it was at least kind of a grid. I didn't have it into easy squares. But you can see the latitude lines on it. Where am I? Alright, we're gonna swing by Port Carnelian to get food. And then we'll keep going a little bit. It's nice that Port Carnelian is here because we can at least resupply. Don't have to worry quite so much. Ah. Do not love the travel between two whirlpools. What the heck is that? Oh, it's the phosphorus. We were warned about that. Alright. Fort Garnelian, we need food. We need food so we don't start eating mascots and or resorting to cannibalism later. Interesting. I'm not sh I haven't quite figured out the math of the randomizer quite yet. I have little hints and clues about how the chart works, but it's not substantial knowledge. 
I get the feeling that going right into a sulfur storm is maybe not the move. Yeah. My ship is protesting enough to make me think that maybe that is in fact not the move. But also the storm seems to be following me, so that's fun. It's really fun. This is a fun part. Being chased by a storm. It is behaving like the snow, which I should have figured was going to be a thing. I'm just wanting to skirt around a little bit. I don't need to be totally free of it. Just up enough. Alright. My guess is that it'll be over here someplace. This is of course dependent upon my ability to not get us murdered by living mountains and or pirates. Tough call. I really love the lore of Fallen London. Like, the setting in this is, is something I can really get my teeth into. I still have so many questions, but I'm excited to figure them out. Like, the notion that things don't die easily still makes me go, wait, what? Why? Alright. I saw the flapping of purple wings. So I think we're just gonna know on the birds. No, thank you. If the bats were not good for me, I don't imagine that the birds are going to be better. Why did a storm kick up? There is something underwater some distance to the east. Well, unfortunately, I don't really have the ability to go underwater. Hey, it's a light boat. My terror is very high, so I think what I'm going to do is talk by the light boat. It's not much of a terror reduction, but it's something. I was naturally not paying attention to my terror again. Speak to the crew. All right. Well, that puts us in a real conundrum. Because if my terror is that high, then continued exploration is probably not gonna go well. I'm in about center east. Port Carnelian is not far, but really what my high terror score is telling me is that I'm probably gonna need to go to London. Since that's where all of my heavy duty terror erasing stuff is. The trouble, of course, is figuring out how you're gonna get there. Because I get the feeling if I take the long way back, we're gonna run into trouble, but maybe if I skip... Maybe that'll do. Alright. Alright, alright. I heed the call of my terror. By which I mean, I'm starting to leave. We'll keep the light on. Doesn't super help, but it does a little help. Why did I do that? Ah. Ah, uh, the anemone seems like a bad plan. Yeah. Nope. I can see that I've let my terror once again get a little, little out of control here. Fathom King's Hold. Not exactly a place with terror reduction, the Fathom King's Hold. Also, we are getting late enough that I think this is going to be my last run for the night. We'll go back to London. We'll do a little terror reduction. We will hope that I don't go crazy and murder the crew. Or murder too much of the crew, anyway. I'm glad I picked up all that fuel. The light really burns through it. Oh, it's nice meeting you. Thank you for swinging by, and thank you for talking lore and all of your good advice for me. 
feel free to drop by again. I'm clearly obsessed, so there is a very real chance that there will just be a lot of Sunless Sea in the near future. Also, at some point, I'm gonna have to actually do the story of Pigmode Island. It's a perfectly fine story. I liked it a whole bunch. It's just that it's very long. Ooh, thank you for that follow. Very appreciated. By all means, come back and watch A Little Sunless Sea. Vareth, we're trying to not murder the crew. We already did a not insignificant amount of murdering crew members. Although, admittedly, that was the last captain. Yes, everybody who would like to keep watching The Sunless Sea, by all means, follow. I'm clearly obsessed. I always set a time limit, and I can tell I really like a game when I'm like, Eh, that time limit is a suggestion. I know the person who came up with that time limit, and they're full of nonsense. It me. I'm full of nonsense. Ah! I knew that was gonna happen. No. No. We do not engage the jilly floor. The jilly floor probably engages me, though. No, thank you. I am politely declining your invitation to altercation. In other words, GTFO. I just want to get back to London before I go crazy and start murdering people. Again. I don't. Thank you. It really is atmospherically really, really good. Oops. I appreciate that the music is relatively unobtrusive, but still incredibly atmospheric. Like, it's definitely setting a mood, but I'm not distracted by it. This is my first time playing Sunless Sea. I love it. A whole bunch. I was warned when I first picked it up, it's really slow. It's really hard. You're gonna die. I'm over here going, it's cute that you guys assume that I had a strong grip on life to begin with. Let's play some friggin' Sunless Sea. I don't think I have. I think I already picked up this port report. But there's no reason to not stop. It's absolutely a, an amazing setting, though. I'm not strictly a setting player. Explore the shore, pick up a mog. Nope, I already got this. All right, all right. Nope, we're going, we're going. Very cool. It's a very cool game. Ringworld, rest of the name I can't say, actually said that Fallen London was is still very much in business. Not the, the setting, the game, Fallen London. That it started in 2009 and has some endgame stuff coming out. But I, it sounds very, very cool. Like if I were going to continue this setting, first of all, as I say that, we have to realize that I'm probably gonna play Sunless Sea for a long time. I haven't gotten sick of this yet. I don't hit a lot of the frustration points I've seen a lot of other people hit. I will probably play this for a long time. But if I ever want to move away from it, the next thing I pick up will probably be Fallen London. Because the setting is just that good. Oh, wait, 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 I forgot, I forgot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta go to the lifeboat. I gotta, I gotta give them the news. Nope, I already gave them the news at the other lifeboat. I'm not drunk, I'm just indecisive. Good thing my tiny boat can turn around pretty quickly. Oh no. A sailor runs to the rail, stripping off his clothes as he goes, beaming rapturously. Home! Home! He cries. Good lord. We could let him go, or we could circle around, and it'll cost fuel and time. Uh... 
Ooh. If a third of the continent for Fallen in London came out, that meant that there, that means that there's plenty more a continent to go, which is incredibly awesome. So, I know that my luck is only at 40%, and it'll cost me fuel and time to try to find him. But I feel like the only downside of this is that I might pick up a little bit of terror, and we're right by London if we do. So I think I'm gonna try to find him. Oh, I was fortunate. A slow reawakening. After 20 minutes of your crew waving and pleading, he slows, treading water, and looks around him. You haul him aboard. He seems dazed. Bright, he says. So bright. Like home. Well, I might have made a god just a little bit mad, but only a little bit mad, because I just lost the attention. I didn't gain wrath or anything. But man, traveling with the light really burned through the fuel. We did it! We did it! I have not explored this much of the continent without getting killed. <laughs> Breath of relief. Big fear reduction. I do like having the the independent developers go on the up and up. Mostly they have a lot more creative freedom than a lot of the bigger house names was. Like how many of us have played a Bethesda game or gosh, who did, was it Bioware who did Mass Effect? You get into these big games and you remember nostalgically that they had this really great reputation and they did such good things. And then they just produce something that breaks your heart. And then whenever they produce something after that, you're just like, ah, oh, man, do I want to try? After all of that, do I want to try? I love that emote, Barrett. Is that your new emote? Ah, oh, so good. All right. I will do a couple of London things and then we're going to we're going to say our goodbyes for the evening. The likelihood of me being back here tomorrow doing this exact same thing, going, where the heck is this one island? I've been searching for four hours, is very high. Terror is always reduced. I've gained two menaces in the nightmare. Uh, EA, though. Oh! Cyberpunk, thank you for that follow! First of all, dope name. Highly appreciated. I remember playing that tabletop a time or two. Second of all, welcome! I am a nonsense person who likes old games. Not that this is an especially old game. For me, this seven-year-old game is very, very new. We're here all the time. Let's collect our messages from the Harbor Master. Something has changed in the Neath. Someone wants to sign on and we have another free day. Goodness. I always leave so many things here in London to do. It's a good time. Let's see, other games I've played on Twitch. Uh, see, I did Cyberpunk Red, akin to Cyberpunk 2020. Slightly different. All real good, though. London stuff. I still have eight crew, which is the, the optimal amount of crew. Who are my recruits? Oh, it's the magician! Of course you're 50 Echo. But I would very much like for the magician. Good afternoon, madam. Perhaps I can engage your engine some good. No, haha, <laughs> I'm quite the engineer. Difficult to credit, isn't it? But here are my references. Beautiful. I was waiting to pick up the magician. Yeah, it's... it's tricky. It's... it's... On the one hand, I appreciate these big publishers because they can produce out a lot of stuff. And some of it is actually quite good, but the other side of that is that it can also churn out a lot of crap and really stifle, especially some of the creative abilities, which is why I love having these indie developers, but it's those have their own cost and benefits too. All right, we have our magician. Perfect. It's waiting for that guy. Yeah. Yeah. So I am pretty heavily involved in a couple of different modding communities. Like I mostly played games to mod all the way back 
with Baldur's Gate 2, which was probably my first CRPG. There's I can read the morning paper. Ringworlder was right and I was wrong. You can totally read the paper. I'm just a fool. Yeah. visit the studies. Oh, hey! I have the money to create a will. We should do that. Ooh! Achievement unlocked. Sound mind. Man, you know I love Bethesda. You know it's hard for me to not love Bethesda, but we have to admit that Bethesda is mostly lovable because it gives you a good skeleton and it's the modders who build the games. Just throwing that out there. Like, controversial on main, I know. Bethesda, not that great. Modders, real good. We, all right, we have our ironclad will. Baseball and, baseborn and fouling piece. Man, those are some lawyer names. The, lawyers peer, the lawyer peers at you like a vulture composed of crocodiles. Come now, she creaks. There's a few years in you yet, but your caution does you credit. Sign here. No, no. Ink is fine. This isn't the Brass Embassy. Shade. Ha! <laughs> I mean, that is a good way to look at it. And let it be known that a lot of the stuff that I got up to with Bioware, old Bioware in particular, was quite good. Like, that was an excellent time to be a modder. Early aught Bioware era. Back when we were still figuring out how to mod things and building our own tool sets. Oh man, that just made me feel old. <laughs> nope, we don't need to hire a crew. We do need to talk to the Admiral. I have port reports. The canal. Nominal. The Iron Republic. Oh, well, at least this time the Iron Republic report went through. Wait, this is blank. Yes, both sides. No, no, I assure you. No, I know these things happen in the Republic. Consider this an ex gratia payment to cover your costs. Last time they didn't give me any echoes. Admittedly, last time I turned in a report, the Admiral's suit caught fire. So... Port Carnelian, 30 echoes. Beautiful. I mean, it's the Iron Republic. What did we think was going to happen? The Fathom King's Hold. What's that old monster up to now? Doing good. So apparently, the way to be successful at this game is to have your previous captain die. <laughs> And just get a decent inheritance off of them. That's how you do. All right, the Grand Geode. The Grand, yes, yes, of course. We're generally quite well informed on that topic. But since you're here, perhaps you may as well let us know what your own impressions were. Just ten echo. Well, I guess they're heavily involved. I guess there's no secrets that the Admiralty doesn't know. Quaker's Haven. They're getting along that well, you say. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder if we're going to see advancement happen over on Quaker's Haven and Mutton Island. We know I have a fondness for Mutton Island. As in I'm still shaking my fist at Mutton Island over what happened the last time I was there. Did I... I don't need to ask with subsistence. Did I pick up a port from you? Turn in the red honey. I guess I can't ask you for any, so I must have. All right, let's go back to the docks. Nope. Visit your study, spend time with your family. Oh, I need to rest in the townhouse, don't I? I'm so irritated that it's now 100 Echo to sleep in my own friggin' house. That's a pretty substantial terror reduction, though. Oh, and it gives you two restful night. 
But when we lost some of the men, okay. Okay, this is maybe worth the cost. It's maybe worth the cost of sleeping in the townhouse. Sleep early, rise late. Take air, Take the air in Tyrant's Gardens. Take coffee at Caligula's Coffee House. Take advantage of a Z-Captain's reputation. You could get used to this. All right, I guess that's that's reasonable, how, considering how many benefits I got. Spend time with my offspring. We already told tales of the far-off land. I only have one Z story. But they're not hard to get. You just give news to the lighthouse. You've come home safe, but you nearly didn't. Tell them how. Ooh. Big terror reduction just by telling your offspring stories. Very cool. The Z fog coils fat and white against the window. With a shrieked delight with, with a delighted shriek, your child disappears under the blanket. I do have to wonder who is actually taking care of that kid. Like, you know. Incidentally. Could could be worth noting that if I'm away a lot and my sweetheart is away a lot. Hello! Blastoise was an excellent choice. That's a great opener. Don't know that we can top that opener, especially for Sunless Sea. We are about to close out. I'm just doing some final London things. And then I'm going to call it a night. I feel bad because everybody's coming in. But I also can't stay up too, too much later. I do have work. I'm the weekend person. I always have work. Let's get that intriguing snippet. Just because I need more favors with the antiquarian. Lapras would have been an excellent choice too, but I don't know if anybody has a Lapras emote. It's Twitch. I'm sure someone has a Lapras emote. Could take a Lapras around the Sunless Sea. Could be fun. It was a short stream. It's, for me, this is still a little longer. I usually don't stream much more than two hours at a go just because I get up and stretch and whatnot. I'm just being obsessive is really what's happening. Realistically, that's all that's going down here. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, that's right. You can pick up another agent, but you have to spend one of the Admiralty's favors to do it. That's correct. Juice, are you still with us? Happy to see ya. I should have figured that you would be in on a Pokemon discussion. It is a reliable thing. If we, po if we talk Pokemon, Juice will appear. We already asked about those things. Still don't think I have your stuff. Nope. Waiting on spider silk. Purchasing long boxes, purchasing live specimens, none of which I've got. Yeah, I can get a live specimen from the labyrinth, which I do not need. London, the alarming scholar. All right, I resupplied. Terror is good. That's totally fine. Uh, honestly, we only tend to use favors to repair ships. So it's not it's not a huge imposition to be like, ah, yes, maybe we do that. And we're nowhere near ready to buy another ship. All right. I think, my friends, that means that we are done for the night. This was a long one for me. Ugh. I was scheduled to do Skyrim tomorrow, but there is a real chance that I'm going to completely skip over doing Skyrim because I have found a setting I can sink my teeth into and I quite like being a Cthulhu-esque seafaring captain, except for when I hallucinate and start pushing my crew members over the side and or get my ship destroyed by a living mountain. The risks we take, right? This, however, was an excellent run. I want to thank everybody for dropping by. I'm glad that this stream is so popular. I seem to have hit a nostalgia button for a number of people, which is great because 
for me, this is a new game. It's seven years old. That's a brand new game. How is how is this a nostalgia button? Uh, thank you for Ringworld for coming in. Cyberpunk, also following, and Creamy Opie Guy. I hope I got all the emphasis right there. Thank you all for following. I'm so happy you're here. Please keep watching Sunless Sea. Let me just... By docking, I've saved. So, and Demos, I didn't forget that you were here. I just wasn't sure that you hadn't already left. I saw, I see people coming and going. And to that end, I think we're gonna, hold on, hold on. We're gonna do the courteous thing and see if there's anybody to raid, but I don't think there is because everybody is reasonable at this time of night and trying to go to bed. Nope. Nope. All good here. So to that end, have a good night, everyone.